Hello my beautiful earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo and welcome to the Ebony Tarot. Welcome to your reading. So today we're going to be doing um, a reading for each individual sign. First I'm going to read the overall energy so please wait and watch that before you move on to your sign. Um, and then I'm going to be reading you guys individually so you, own, you all have your own little mini um readings okay i will be clarifying the readings with tarot and an additional message okay as i have already pulled your cards um please remember the energies in these readings can go vice versa so just take what resonates switch to joel switch to ren just do what you gotta do don't come at me in the comments also like i've been saying in all the other readings um if you guys show love you show support to your sign i will be giving you an additional reading for the month Every sign is only going to get one reading a month unless they show support. So that could be a thumbs up, that could be a comment, that could be a share, that could be a like, okay? You give me additional support, I'll give you additional support. At the moment, it's Libras. Taurus is coming up slowly behind Libras, but there's not enough There's not enough support. And I know that my channel is dominantly Taurian, so, you know, there's not enough support. So, you know, and if I see a little bit more, I might give Taurus an extra reading. But for now, mm -mm, okay? So yeah, um, so we're going to read the signs first. I may or may not timestamp if I don't. If there's somebody who watches who can do that for me, I really appreciate that because I may forget. Okay, so let's start with your overall energy, my beautiful subscribers or new viewers. Hello. We have go within as your overall energy and we have keep yourself balanced. Okay, so for some of you, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Libra. It does not have to be okay. Now, what this is saying, in my opinion, is that I feel like... um. I'm hearing leave all vengeance to God. My mom always used to say that to me, okay? So I feel like if there's something, um, I feel like some of you want someone to receive some kind of karma or some kind of justice, but I feel like you shouldn't say anything, okay? It's saying don't say nothing, okay? You're going to see someone go through their karma. You're going to be able to witness someone's calm whether it's good or bad but i feel like you don't need to say anything you don't need to do anything you don't need to make a move especially if you are a libra the universe just sorts shit out okay or if you have significant libra placement should i say because it's for earth signs but you know you could have like libra in your jupiter or libra rising or moon or so on and so forth also check what's in your house the seventh house okay but yeah, I'm hearing that it's saying you don't need to say anything. Now, for others of you, I feel like there's someone who's keeping quiet about something, but they're going to tell you the truth. Something is going to be revealed, okay? So maybe you kind of went with them. You kind of felt like someone was lying to you. They were keeping something from you. I feel like that is going to be proven to you, okay? But I'm hearing you don't need to say anything. Don't even, don't say nothing. Just watch, okay? So it's imperative that you keep quiet, we're in, in regards to a situation, okay? Underneath that, we do have um celebrate sisterhood in a big, big way. So, yes, this could be like your mother or your sister or your friend, okay? Someone is going to put something right or they're going to do something for you, okay? Someone's going to make a situation right, okay? But, yeah, I feel like for some of you, if you've been if you've been expressing yourself too much, it's saying just it's okay. It's okay. I feel like, you know, you need to really hold your tongue, to keep yourself, do you know what I mean? Okay, but let's just see where this is going. But karma nonetheless, okay, karma is coming, karma is here, whether it's good or bad, we'll see. <laughs> so we're going to start off with my beautiful cappuccinos. So um, the, the energy that you have is rebel. It reads rules. What rules? Do whatever the fuck you want. We have the flexor, okay. <laughs> and then we have Aries, okay. This is so like, <laughs> I can already see where this is going. Aries reads number one, Mars, fire, war, identity, sex, impulse, passion, and leadership. Yeah. So I feel like for some of you, you are flexing, okay? You are putting yourself first. You're just like, I'm a boss. What the fuck? I don't give a fuck, okay? I don't care what none of you lot say. I don't care what none of you lot think. I'm doing what I want, okay? And rightly so. So I feel like this is your karmic justice. Maybe you're supposed to stun on people, okay? For some of you, you could have significant Aries placements or you could be dealing with an Aries. This could also be your house of work or what's in your first house. Okay, like I feel like you're um you're being true to yourself. Okay, you just like listen. I'm a Capricorn. I don't give a fuck. Okay, this is how I want it. This is how it's gonna be. If you don't like it, 
<laughs> oh well literally like kiss my ass okay so you're flexing for some of you, you could be posting a lot of pictures okay you could be showing off maybe you got a business opportunity opportunity or you got a lot of money you're just like yeah look at me like stunning i wouldn't suggest for you to stunt like that though because that's like really lame to me okay but for some of you i feel like you're just out here but again you are a rebel so you can do what you want you know it's my opinion but you can do what you want i feel like it's just like I'm, i don't need to listen to you your rules okay not me but whoever you're talking to especially if you're an entrepreneur you're doing things your own way this is my business this is my channel this is my page this is my products i'm gonna do it how i want to do it period okay so gorgeous energy okay so let's just see so i'm hearing i'm feeling myself i'm feeling myself i'm feeling i'm feeling so i feel like you're really feeling yourself <laughs> you are feeling yourself yes you're not you're not um you know, conforming to society's standards of anything. You're just like, I'm, I'm doing it my way. I'm a cappuccino. Hello. <laughs> I am the devil. I rule the industry. I make the rules. I rule ambition and the career. This could definitely be something to do with your career. Okay. But I feel like you have to remind people who you are. Like, I'm the big boss daddy. Okay. Okay. Oh, Intr oh well I, you know what? i was about to reshuffle because two cards came up but the justice is here again you see them scales okay you see them scales so yeah karma now for some of you it could be a libra or a scorpio okay um and my goodness did i not say libra and scorpio at the beginning and here it is goodness i am on point okay let's move on <laughs> um but for some of you, someone in here is broken heart hearted without you. I feel like somebody could have lied to you, cheated, betrayed you in some type of way. Someone is receiving their karma. And like I said, I feel like you're going to be able to witness this. This is why you're flexing. You're like, yeah, the that's, that's the fuck right. I knew karma was coming for you. I knew it because I feel like someone didn't say anything to you or they kept something from you. Now, for some of you, someone knows that they need to tell you something. I feel like it's something that may upset you or it may hurt you, but someone needs to reveal something to you. This could be you also. This could also be somebody like hiding their feelings or maybe somebody broke up with you and they, they realized it was a bad decision and this person is broken hearted without you. Now, for some of you, you love yourself or you're in love with someone else and this is really upsetting for someone also. But I feel like someone is going to man up. I feel like maybe someone was in their feelings and now they're going to boss up and say, you know what? I don't care what other people think. I don't care if you don't want me to be with this person. I'm in love with you. Let's talk. Let's work this out. And then maybe this is you two flexing. Everybody thought you were broke, broken up and broken hearted. And you're like, no, bitches, we're back together. Okay. Look at us. <laughs> and you just don't give a fuck. Oh, sorry. Something's my eye just died itching there you don't give a fuck okay so gorgeous for some of you this could be something about same sex as well maybe you're um you're into the same sex and you know that's upsetting for some people and you're just like okay well it's not your life it's not your coochie it's not your winkle it's mine and i can take it up the back door or in the front package it's not your business okay so yeah gorgeous energy so yeah so someone is going through karma okay Someone wants to do something right. They want to apologize to you. They want to tell you the truth. Okay. So this is for my beautiful cappuccinos. Could we just have one word? One word. One message, please. Okay. What's, what's really going on here? No, I just want one message because then I'm going to draw too much energy. Thank you. You need to enjoy yourself. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, you are enjoying yourself. You're stunting on people. Maybe that's someone's karma as well to kind of watch you do you okay and it's really upsetting for this person okay and it says you're doing your best yeah so you're doing your best and you're showing people like i'm doing my best i'm the best version of myself i don't need you fuck you fuck all of y'all motherfuckers okay so just take whatever story resonates from that but yeah oh gosh i like that i like that reading guys okay so thank you so much my beautiful cappuccinos let me know in the comment section if you like remember if you're commenting as well because this is for free different people so different energies so you know if i see loads of cappies comment and i'm like okay you know what i might give cappy extra reading you know what i mean so just saying so now we're going to move on to um virgo so i forgot the rose here so we're going to move on to virgo so we have bewitching that wanted to come out it says manifest what you want and then sam 
it reads the model gorgeous energy and then we have capricorn so you could be dealing with a capricorn who could have significant capricorn placement it reads number 10 saturn earth career reputation power influence status and ambition so yeah i feel like with this energy you're very powerful in terms of manifesting okay i feel like for some of you you're very beautiful we got that in your last reading someone here is really really gorgeous so I feel like because of the way that you look, you can get what you want. You just have something about you. It's your energy. It's your essence. It's your vibe. People are like, okay, I'm accommodate to you. Whatever you want, Virgo. But some of you may be, um, be going into some kind of modeling career or somebody may want you to be an ambassador for something. Somebody wants you to... Um, Someone wants to use your face or your body or your hair for something, okay? I also feel like someone can't stop looking at your picture. Somebody could be trying to manifest you or draw you in by doing some kind of like um picture magic here okay but i'm hearing like baby doll like someone thinks that you're a doll okay this could be something to do with your career i'm definitely getting someone who's a model for their career or you need to post pictures or show yourself more it's going to bring you attention okay maybe some of you, you work on a set you could be like behind the scenes like perfecting something but i'm hearing like you know you, your manifestation abilities is really heightened at this time so you know, draw in what you want. Make a mood board, a vision board. If you've got a sacred space, light them candles. But I do feel like someone could be quite obsessed with you and they're trying to draw you in. Okay, so I'm getting different stories. This is for my beautiful Virgo. So we have the Six of Wealth here, okay? And then we have the Seer at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it could be dealing with a Pisces or a Taurus. It does not have to be okay. So I feel like unbeknownst to you, something is coming to you that you're not, you don't realise. This is a lot of wealth, a lot of patronage, people investing in you equal give and take as well a lot of balance okay if you're a psychic as well people are paying for your readings okay someone thinks that you're really intuitive i feel like someone here's got like a secret talent or there's money that's coming to you that you're not aware of okay and again with the seer someone here's like really powerful they're like a sorcerer so you can bring you can draw this energy towards you Okay, but a lot of fortune is coming. I feel like this is your karma. Especially, you know, if there was like a mistress or something was going on, somebody was like hiding something from you. I feel like you're going to get what you deserve in a situation. Okay, some of you could be doing mag money magic as well. I also feel like if you're coming into a lot of money, is saying that don't even say nothing. Okay, don't tell nobody nothing about this. I do also feel like someone is like secretly watching you. This could be someone in the industry or it could be a Capricorn. Like a Capricorn wants you or someone wants you, so they're going to give you whatever you want. They're like, what do you want? I'm going to give it to you. As long as I can work with you, as long as I can be with you, it is what it is, okay? So let's see, my beautiful um, Virgos. Yeah, you're a goddess. Stop, treat, stop allowing people to treat you like you're regular. Exactly. I feel like somebody wants to treat you like how you deserve. I feel like someone puts you up on a pedestal here with the um, model energy, I feel like you have strong power and influence over somebody, okay, so, so people are going to be paying you for your resources, or doing whatever you want, and you're just like, yeah, that's what the fuck I thought, or you may get some kind of settlement, or something like that, with the keep yourself balanced, the karma energy there, and then it has, um, you need to relax, yeah, you need to relax, don't worry, things will come to you, okay, let people treat you how you deserve to be treated, god or goddess does not matter, okay, Oh, I forgot to pull these for you guys. Okay, let me pull one for Virgo. Capricorn, if you're still watching, I'll pull one for you. Let's pull one for Virgo. Please, this is for Virgo. It says, I will take time to rest because being tired ain't cute and I am cute. Yeah, so I feel like you need to rest. It says that twice here. You need to relax and you need to rest. So don't overwork yourself. You don't need to. This is like Empress vibes to me. Let people take care of your needs. If you're doing any manifestation work, relax. You've done the work. Let it let it um, manifest. Let it come into fruition on its own. Okay, give me a card for Capricorn if there's a Capri still watching. You may because Capricorn is in your reading. So there could be a Capricorn still watching or you may have a Capricorn placement. So Capricorn, you have I love hard and, and the one that... Oh my goodness. I love hard... And the one for me will match my energy, yeah. So we already spoke about that. Someone is in love with you. They want to match your energy now. And I ain't got to be perfect. I just got to show up and commit. I commit to myself always, blah, 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 okay? So, yeah. So thank you, guys. Sorry for the confusion there. So, um, but yeah, I feel like, you know, you have a Capricorn in your energy, Virgo. Well, there could be like a, I was going to say a cross watcher, but of course there is. <laughs> I forgot I'm reading for all three of you. 
Okay, so let's move on to Taurus now, okay? So the energy that you had, my beautiful Taurians, we have inspiration. It reads the dream, the creation, then create the dream, okay? We also have the shadow that wanted to come out. And then we have Gemini. So you could be dealing with a Gemini. It does not have to be. Or you could have significant Gemini placements. Also, please look in your third house. It reads number three, Mercury, air, communication, language, social, adaptable, versatile, and clever. I feel like for some of you, um, with the dark and light energy here, I feel like for some of you, um, something is going to be revealed to you or you are going to take the spotlight. I feel like some of you, it's like you're not underdogs, but it's like someone is kind of like trying to shadow you or trying to censor you. Okay, I feel like you're very inspiring right now. Maybe for some of you, you've lost your inspiration. You could be trying to connect with your spirit guides or you're trying to face your shadow self. You see how they're looking at each other? So I feel like maybe you need to, um, there's something in you, like, because your opposite energy is Scorpio. So I feel like you need to face the darkness full on and only then can you be empowered or someone needs to face you. So it could be a Scorpio or a, or a Gemini. Someone has significant Scorpio and Gemini placements. Like somebody has something they need to say to you. Someone wants to connect with you. I feel like you make someone feel balanced. You give life into someone. Or if you speak, you speak life into people. You're an inspiration. You're a healer. Okay. So yeah, because you see how her mouth is covered there. So it's like someone has something that they need to express. They need to communicate. They need to tell you something. I would say, yeah, dream the creation and create the dream. So maybe if there's a dream that you're focusing on, there's something that you really want to manifest, but you're not speaking out about it. You're not saying it or you're not talking to this person. So in order for something to manifest, you need to speak it into existence. Or like I said, someone's trying to silence you or someone doesn't want you to talk. Okay, so let's see where this is going. This is for my beautiful Taurians and Tauresses. I did just see the star flip over. People keep getting two cards. We've got the two of wisdom and then we've got the ten of emotions. And then we've got, yeah, the ace of swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you need to speak your truth. Some of you have a brilliant idea, but someone is coming to confess something to you or is coming to say something to you or to put something right. So this person was like in denial or they weren't making a move. But we go from the two of swords to the ace of swords, okay? Could be dealing with a Libra or a um, Pisces. But we've got the ten of cups here. So I feel like you're going to be happy. I feel like someone may want to reunite with you. Okay, so like I said, if somebody wasn't telling you something or they wasn't expressing something to you, somebody wants to make something right. This could be a marriage or a family, okay? But somebody could have been torn between two people or somebody was just not making a decision. They were just a stalemate. They just didn't know what to say. They didn't know how to approach you. Now this person wants to communicate with you and I do feel like it's going to end well here. Once someone does the right thing, I feel like all someone needs to do is apologize or admit that you were right about a situation. I feel like it's not up to you to say anything. This could be what this energy is. It's like, don't, don't say nothing. It's not up to you. Or it could be, pick whatever side you're on. But there's going to be emotions or something expressed here. It's like someone has been holding on to something for too long and they finally feel inspired and motivated to speak their truth, Okay. So, this is for my beautiful Taurians and Tauresses. Also, I'm hearing something about someone was like throwing shade and they knew that that wasn't the right thing to do. So, something is going to be balanced out here. Someone's going through some kind of karma, but you're going to be blessed and happy in a situation. Don't worry. Or maybe you're happy to know that someone really loves you. It's a sis, and, sis is enough. Sis is lit. Oh, my goodness. I don't know why I can't read today. Sorry, guys. Let me just sis is enough sis sis love is lit i am sis okay that's how that's written i think it's because it's written in like an american twang and i'm not american so it's hard for me to to um say that because sis love is oh sis's love is lit that's what she means should have put like an extra s yeah anyway yeah so your love is lit okay somebody knows that you're at the full capacity of love and emotions here with the 10 so you are enough. So maybe you weren't, somebody was treating you like you wasn't enough. Someone's like, no, you are, or this could be you. And it says, I stand up for myself and for others. I am a warrior. Yeah, so you are a warrior. You stand up for yourself or somebody's trying to stand up for you. Somebody could be trying to fight for you. Now, okay, my beautiful Taurians and Tauruses. So let's get a card for Taurus. So it reads, you need a hobby. Okay, interesting. And, um... You need to drink more water. Okay, so yeah, someone needs to express their emotions. Someone's like holding in something. Okay, so someone needs to like let something out. They need to cleanse. 
okay now with the you need a hobby and the inspiration i feel like some of you have a talent that you need to express so you need to be creative someone may also tell you the truth like somebody could have been jealous of your talent or something like that excuse me some of you as well maybe if you're struggling with your emotions it's because you're not hydrating emotions represent water so drink okay if you're feeling stuck or stagnant you need to drink you need to let something flush you out i'm gonna get another card for you though because i don't understand really how that ties in and it's time to treat yourself okay and at the bottom of the deck you need to stop telling people your business yeah exactly you see how it's saying Shh, we saw we saw that in the beginning don't say anything let someone speak to you or express something to you or reveal something to you they will the truth that you're looking for is coming okay so Thank you so much, my beautiful earth signs. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Please don't hesitate to comment down below. Let me know. Okay, hopefully, Taurus, I will do you an extra reading. We'll just have to see. <laughs> Otherwise, I will see you next month. Um, but I will still be doing readings like this throughout the month and collective readings. I will also try to do a um, Valentine's Day special. If I don't do it today, I'll do it tomorrow on actual Valentine's Day. Okay, so check out for that. That will be on my other channel. Thank you so much. Bye.